To heat your pool, the most efficient way you can do that, particularly in the Midwest area and, and South, is with a heat pump. And a heat pump is operated by electricity, but it's not making heat. It takes heat from the air, the ambient air temperature, uh, and it puts the heat into the water. And it's very, very efficient under most circumstances. Um, and uh, looks like an air conditioner because frankly, it, it is an air conditioner that's running backwards. Um, to control the, the heat pump, um, we've got a panel located here that's a little bit tricky to get open. Um, and these are our control buttons. To unlock the, the heat pump, you're gonna slide your finger across like so. We've got a demand setting here shown, and we simply push the up or down arrow key to the desired temperature. And then it'll go back to the current water temperature. And if it needs heat, it will heat up. And if it's okay, it will shut off. Pretty simple. Um, we'll go ahead and put this back down to, oops, 85. Now there's a couple things to keep in mind on a heat pump. If you are looking to keep your pool warm through some of the colder months, say through October and even into November, um, a heat pump may not be the right the right answer for you. In this climate, most people aren't swimming in the November area. Um, and the reason for that is, since the heat pump is relying on the heat in the air and is removing the heat from the air, once the air temperature outside gets down in the mid 50 range, um, the heat pump loses most of its efficiency. And there isn't enough heat in the air to put into the pool and it will just run and run and run and run. Um, if the spring happens to be a little cooler and occasionally here in, in the Midwest, uh, we don't see temperatures warmer than 50 and, and maybe even 60 up until uh, end of sometimes May, uh, there may be a slight delay in when you can heat your pool. But the good news is once the ambient air temperature hits 70, 75, um, this unit is capable of bringing up any of our pools a matter of five to eight, maybe even 10 degrees on a hot day per 24 hours.